Oh god. Oh, actually, it doesn't do that much damage for us. Well, it shoots a lot, though. No, don't kill Veronica. Alright, we're good. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas Cyberpunk, or at least our playthrough of our Cyberpunk character, who is again going to be um, from the Daughter of Ares Redux mod, uh, an android, a synth from the Commonwealth who has made her way to the Mojave Wasteland, where we are uh, currently exploring the Repcon facility to deal with the ghouls um, that have been rumored to be staying here from our friend uh, Manny Vargas. So you guys already seen me do this quest before. We're gonna try to get to it uh, real quick. I'm just gonna be katana slashing away at these ghouls, just chopping their heads off, chopping them in little bits. It's uh, pretty fun. Katana actually does really good damage. Uh, it still is able to do like the headshot damage with the blade as long as they hit them in the head. So I pretty much bop all the ghouls here without any trouble. There's no, there's no like scary glowing ones to deal with. So it's uh, not too shabby. And we, you know, go around looting the Repcon facility. There is like stealth boys. I want to make sure that I get those are going to be more useful later on. And of course, um, energy weapon ammunition. Unfortunately, just due to the nature of energy weapons, like being a bad skill for me right now, and then also the ammo being super heavy, I'm probably not going to be using a whole lot of energy weapons outside of the plasma pistol. Um, so we're just going to be using that since that's like lightweight and uh, pretty ammo efficient. Uh, but I do want to eventually like use a laser RCW, maybe use like a laser Gatling or some other crazy laser weapons, um, have a little bit of fun with that. Um, but for now, we're going to be sticking with our katana and primarily ballistic firearms, like the uh, 357 Magnum, the 10mm pistol, those are pretty great. Um, I totally just leave this hunting revolver here, I barely have the carry weight capacity um, to even pick this thing up. And uh, I am also in a Discord call with friends during this recording, so I'm overdubbing, uh, the commentary is coming after. Don't mind um, the little lighted circles uh, in the upper left that's just um, me hanging out with some friends uh, while also you know like recording my fallout but I'm not streaming it to them or anything so I am not currently providing commentary at this time in game and uh, we are gonna chop this feral ghoul into pieces Let's take care of his buddy in one hit Repcon facility is um, pretty easy on this floor, but then, you know, we go up, we talk to our good friend, Jason Bright. Um, we're gonna go, you know, accept the quest for that. And then, you know, last time I actually did this, I was able to negotiate with the Nightkin and just kind of safely make it, make it through that part without having to fight them. This time we're gonna fight them with Katana just cause I wanna try it. Um, Nightkin are pro <laughs> Nightkin are pretty strong. Uh, pardon the coughing. Nightkin are quite fearsome, especially 
uh, the main guy who has like a bumper sword. So uh, you're going to see how that goes. It's a little bit tough, but we do pull through with our grand old katana. We have a decent amount of melee weapon points. We do have like the added perk. <laughs> we have the added trait for some extra melee damage. Um, you can see here, I did not see the one in back of him, so that's a little bit scary. But we managed to stagger this guy, kill him, and then I kite out this Nightkin a little bit. Then we disarm him, and we slice off his head. Got a super mutant monocle on this guy, which is kind of cool. We could wear that if we want. Uh, but we want to deal with the rest of the Nightkin around here. So if you like time their attacks, you can kind of kite them and dodge them, but it's pretty hard. Um, I managed to pull it off here, but I think you're going to see in a second. I get clobbered by, like, the next guy. <laughs> I pop a stim here. The sound of uh, unsheathing the katana is quite satisfying. I don't know if that's like the bass sound or if that's a modified sound. It, it might actually be a modified sound from one of the mods I have. Uh, that guy smacks me pretty hard. We hit him with a power attack to disarm him. And then we just hit him with a couple more power attacks. <laughs> the Katana Animations mod I have is the Sigma Animations. Do highly recommend you check those out. They're really good. Um, the power attack... That was really loud. The power attack is quite strong. It's a little bit too strong because you do like multi attack, but I don't really mind that. I like having the added damage for our katana because we are putting ourselves in pretty grave danger by going into melee range. And uh, here we have Davidson. We killed his buddy, so he's he's not too happy about it. Uh, but we break his legs. We absolutely just break his legs with a landmine that I set up. And uh, we're just going to take our time popping shots at him. Uh, he's quite tanky. I, I probably should have used the plasma pistol here, but we managed to finish things off with the shotgun. Clean shotgun coming in quite good. And that's it for the Nightkin in the basement. Uh, so we're good to go. I just skip the part where I go back and tell Jason Bright and then they bring everyone down. And then we're going to go follow up, uh, you know, make sure that we get the supplies they need to, you know, make the great journey. Talk to Chris. And uh, we're good to go. Uh, I don't even think I don't think I had a lot of space left in my inventory, so I did not take the spacesuit. But it's always there if we want to go get it. And we did actually find some stealth nanobot implants, so I've got no idea what that does. But I would definitely like to get that installed if I can run into someone who can install cybernetics. We do that's part of the Cyberware uh, 2281 uh, mod, I believe. That's gonna be. Uh, a mod that allows us to get more cybernetic enhancements, which is like perfect for like the cyberpunk vibe. We want to have our character, you know, get a ton of like subdermal uh, implants, um, stuff like that to make us stronger, tankier, just a better uh, character in general. And that, that kind of fits the theme of like chroming out your character, even though we're in androids so we're fully chromed out. <laughs> We make our way over to the radioactive site to uh, get some uh, ionization agent or some shit. Some radioactive agent. I don't know why it pings this Brahmin, which is like floating upside down in the air. Very unusual. Probably a bug. But uh, we pop these geckos with our 10 mil, and then we... Uh, Go looking for that, that item we need. Got the gecko here. Chop his head off. And there is Mr. Scavenger. 
Uh, we got the item we need, so we can go and head on over to the the junk trader here, Old Lady Gibson. She sells the thrusters. Hi there. Or the thrust control module. Unfortunately, we don't have the speech or barter, so we just we're gonna pay five hundred. We're gonna that could have been money for the katana upgrade, but it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and buy the thrust control module, so we can complete the quest, get a ton of EXP. Uh, the EXP is honestly worth it. Then we're going to go talk to Chris, bring him the goods, we got the igniting agent, and we have the thrust control mods, and then we just, again, quickly make our way over to the launch site where we are going to send off the boys. So it's a little bit dark here, I do apologize. Um, I might turn off HDR in the future so that if you don't have HDR, the lighting uh, will be a lot brighter at night. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's just, it is the way it is. Um, I play with HDR on by default, it looks a lot better on my screen. Unfortunately, when I record, you know, that HDR, I guess it works if you have an HDR monitor, but then, you know, if you're on your phone or if you're on a device that doesn't have HDR, it's probably gonna look extremely dark for you when it's nighttime. I could have messed with the control module here. I totally forgot to do that, actually. We probably could have got some free extra EXP. Um, but that's okay, we finished the quest, we get a ton of EXP still, and we level up. We have our science at 50, I'm gonna bump up medicine, I want the stim packs to heal more health. Right now they're just like, freaking useless, and we have to burn through so many stims every time we get shot at. So, dump some points into that, and we're actually gonna take a durability perk, we're gonna take toughness, we're gonna increase our DT, by three, uh, so our base DT is like plus six because of we're an android and we have toughness. Um, so that's gonna make us a lot tankier, uh, but we're still gonna get killed really quickly by explosions and full automatic guns and stuff like that, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a good set of armor, probably combat armor, before we can really like start fighting some, some tougher enemies. But yeah, you can see I, I'm just deliberating over this choice because toughness is, an endurance perk, and I very rarely take endurance perks uh, in typical runs, but because we're going melee, we do need that survivability. So back to Novak. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Manny. He's gonna tell us that our next pit stop is gonna be Boulder City, and uh, we're gonna head on over to Boulder City. So goodbye to Novak, thank you for the katana. Thanks for the EXP from the quest. And we're gonna make our way down the highway towards uh, the town of Boulder City. Uh, as I pull up, uh, you know, I'm just kind of traveling across the, the main highway. I see a firefight kind of break out. There's like Viper gangers that are, I guess they're fighting some prospectors or something. So we prime a frag grenade and we're gonna go and surprise them with our own little explosion. I think I land a perfect frag grenade there. It just kills both those gunslingers, or maybe there was even more than two. Um, but I have absolutely no clue where I sent the bodies flying. So you see, I just kill these blow flies for fun, but I, I tr do try looking for the bodies. There's actually a body right there that I see now, uh, as I am recording after, uh, which I definitely didn't see where it was, uh, you know, in game at the time. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we don't loot that body. We go over to the gas station and we loot inside there. Um, we get we, we get some ammo. It's not too shabby. There was missiles. I didn't want to take it. It's going to take up too much weight. Uh, we go outside to the wasteland and then we get ambushed by some like NCR deserters, I think. Uh, they came out of nowhere, so we're going to reload. They caught me off guard. Um, I think I do, yeah, I go into the realistic headshot mod. We're gonna turn off the player immunity. I mean, we're gonna turn on the player immunity just because getting instant killed is kind of ridiculous to deal with, with when like people have full auto guns and they just spray at you. Uh, one bullet's bound to hit you in the head and instant kill you. Um, 
I'm an android, so I sh I am able to take more than one headshot, so I shouldn't get insta killed by it. Uh, so we turn that on. Uh, it'll make our life easier. It'll make the playthrough uh, a little bit smoother. Uh, and then we take you know we take care of these NCR deserters who are decently well armed. Put on the monocle just to kind of see how it looks. It looks pretty ugly on my character, so we're going to leave that. Patch that up. A little bit extra space. You guys got combat knife and brass knuckles. Kind of cool. And then we're just going to kind of head on our merry way. Uh, there are some there are some ants down here, so I think we take care of those just for the hell of it. Test out our katana on these fire ants, and uh, yeah, that worker ant is just obliterated, and his buddy also obliterated. I don't know why their bodies go flying like that, but um, it's it's pretty funny. So we make our way down over to the 188 uh, trade post, which is along the way to Boulder City. I just check in on some of the merchants, they don't have too much going on. Uh, we go over to our friend Michelle, who's actually selling um, some, I think some like grilled mantis. And I was surprised because this, this stuff heals 30 HP over the course of 30 seconds. Uh, and it's really cheap, so that's like a good healing item for me to heal out of combat. Um, so I'm gonna buy definitely a you know as much as I can. We are gonna sell um, not the medics. We're gonna sell I forget. I think we sell like a stealth boy or two. Yeah, just one because um, I really desperately need money. I'm just kind of broke right now. We go ahead and sell a lot of our stuff. And now we have some decent healing from that. Another satisfied. And there we have Veronica, who is probably going to be our first companion. Um, Boone was not available when I went over to Novak at nighttime. Not really sure why. Might have missed him as he was like going in for a shift. But uh, we are going to pick up Veronica here because she is um, someone from the Brotherhood of Steel. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, I do know the location of some power armor, so we're gonna get her an early set of power armor just to see, you know, how good that's gonna be. It does make sense, uh, you know, if like I'm an android character, I'm gonna be walking around with a badass who is also sporting a full set of chrome or a full set of power armor in this case. Uh, but we'll get that after we do Bo Border City. So we rush over to Boulder City, and uh, from this point, we're just gonna we're gonna try our best to just kind of streamline the main quest. I run over to the colonel over here. We've got Veronica in tow. She could uh, probably help us out here because we don't have enough speech to really negotiate Ooh, with the Patagangers. Or not the Patagangers, the, <laughs> the great cons that are taking hostage in this area. Um, we are going to drop off some stuff with her. Have Veronica be our little mule for a little bit, because my god, I've just been like super clogged up on weight. Our total weight is 130 because it is nerfed by JSAR Ultimate Edition, I think. Um, it rebalances the weight, make it more realistic, which I do like. Um, the inventory management is important because it allows it, you know, to make decisions on what you can bring and what you can't bring. You gotta. You know, if you're going to bring heavy weapons with heavy-ass ammo, um, you can't bring a whole lot of it. And that kind of balances out a lot of the encounters that you're going to face uh, later on in the future. We've got a situation with... We go to Lieutenant Monroe. I don't know why I thought he was a colonel. Uh, and then we're going to go and make our way to the, the Great Cons. And then we also, you know, you want to make sure to go and check this grenade box because this has plasma grenades, three plasma grenades. 
Uh, it is average locked, but we have 53 lockpick, which again, I still don't know why I have 53 lockpick. I think it's because of the lockpick set. We get that open. Three plasma grenades. That's going to be huge. Um, those plasma grenades deal some really good damage, so those are going to be great later on, especially against like robots and people in power armor. We head on over to inside the building where there's Jessup and his buddy. And uh, that's going to be another huge ash chunk of EXP. Uh, here we take out our katana and uh, we just go ahead and kill them. I do not have enough speed to negotiate. Um, his buddy over here, it's really dark, I apologize about that. Probably too dark to see him, but I turn my light on. And I don't know why Jessup is kind of just like backed in the corner here. He just basically gets himself killed. But yeah, we make pretty quick work out of the Great Cons here. They're not going to be too happy about that as a faction. That's unfortunate, uh, we're just going to have to take that hit on our reputation. Uh, but we do get some decent loot out of this. Extra Psycho is always great. I haven't used any Psycho yet. I don't want to get addicted to Psycho, but I am going to be probably needing it when I fight some some much tougher enemies. Super Mutants, Death Claws, whatever you have. Uh, we go outside. The Great Hands are obviously pissed. We're going to kill this lady first, who's right next to the... Um, the captives. Unfortunately, Veronica dies. I think she kind of just runs up and gets capped by, you know, the 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter and 9 millimeter pistols that these guys are running. They just all have full auto weapons. So we kill all the great cons, but because we lost our dear friend Veronica, uh, who is our just recent companion, I do load a save. This time I go back inside. And we are just going to camp the door. So this guy gets axed. Uh, the other two come in. And we're just going to chop them up. And bye-bye. Easy peasy. Uh, we cut them into little bits with our amazing katana. Doing some spectacular damage, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny because I think the katana can actually headshot too, so um, that's what's helping out a lot. Man, I I Go ahead and untie the NCR captives. And at this point, the quest is pretty much complete, so we're good to go. We get that nice level up. Um, I think I dump points into melee and science I kind of forget actually uh, I put up a little points in barter we just want to make that even uh, and then yeah we dump some points into science as well thanks for getting both my people out of there Tenor Monroe gives us his thank you and we got the information we want it's time to head over to Vegas um, so yeah, that was pretty quick. Um, we got through most of the, the you know, the, the entry part of the main quest before you get to Vegas and then you open up with the factions and stuff like that. Um, I am going to jump over to this area a little bit outside of Nipton. Um, we encountered it last time. These two NCR prospectors who are actually like mercenaries or something. Um, this lady has a set of power armor from Brotherhood members that they killed or like remnants that they killed. Uh, and I'm gonna kill them to take their power armor. <laughs> so we've got the we got the plasma grenade. Just kind of bounce one at them. Uh, it does pretty minimal damage, but that's okay. We switch over to the plasma pistol. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot that I left the ammo with Veronica, so I was just kind of like shooting it empty, and I was confused. Uh, but while this guy's distracted, we go up from behind and chop him up with the katana. I'm kind of surprised how easily they died in power armor. Uh, which isn't a good sign, because Veronica's probably not going to be tanky if she's wearing power armor. But we can hope for the best. So, 
we get our girl a nice old set of T51B power armor. <laughs> I do take some ammo back so I can actually use the plasma pistol. Uh, and then, boom, she is kiddo out with some power armor. Uh, it does look a little bit awkward. The vanilla Fallout New Vegas power armor is... I mean, it's still beefy, but... I think we're going to actually get a mod to enhance the beefiness of the armor so she looks bigger. <laughs> More menacing. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a little cut after this, and then I'm going to check out some mods, and we're going to get back. Alright, so we're back. Um, this time I'm actually recording the commentary while I'm recording the game. And as you can see here, we have our lovely character... And we have Veronica, who is now just looking absolutely beefed up. She is a beefcake in this T-51B armor. Um, we got the Titans of the West. Titans of the New West, I think, is the mod. Um, that's going to make the power armor just look freaking massive. Uh, she is taller than us now, which is pretty cool. Uh, and she's going to be sporting a power fist, just running around, beating the shit out of people. So that's great. Yeah, it's really awesome. I like this a lot. And uh, we're ready to head out. So I am going to go and we're going to make our way back to probably over to the 188 trading post. <laughs> and we're just going to take this main road over to Vegas. Yeah, we're good. So we're just going to look for a place to sleep real fast. We're gonna go take a nap. A little, a pretty long nappy nap, actually. We're gonna just sleep until it's morning. Probably until like six. Yeah, that should be fine. Hey. Oh, what the hell's going on? Oh shit, we're getting ambushed. We got ambushed. Luckily, it was at the trade post. Uh oh, that guy's dead. I'm gonna go loot his stuff. Don't mind me. Oh damn, we got an NCR heavy trooper with a super sledge. Holy shit! Morning. Oh my god, this guy looks cool. Lost? Damn. Uh, these guys are running. Looks like it. Oh, it was three. Okay. Man, they have a 12.7. Dude, this guy's a Uzi. What the heck? Hold up. Eight damage. That's pretty bad. But ah, I'm gonna take it. This guy's an AK. Oh my god. This guy's these cons, man. They sent the con hit squad after me just because I killed their buddy Jessa. Holy crap. Um, if they pulled up and I was like in the open, like I just slept at like a random bed, I would probably be insta killed. Uh also eight damage. But five point five six. I don't have a lot of ammo for that. Um, 12.7 millimeter pistol, oh, it's in, it's in too poor condition for me to care about. I would take it otherwise. But, uh, I am gonna have some fun with this. Ooh, oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that animation. We actually pull out the collapsible stock, or the retractable stock. Got some good shooting, good reload animation. I meant to do the yeah the inspect pretty sweet inspection animation all right this is a sick ass gun got ourselves a Uzi there is like a little like a tech facility here um, we could fuck around with it I don't know if that's a good idea not what is aggroed oh shit Oh shit. Hey. All right. We're going to test out the shotgun here. And he I is dead. All right. 
That could have turned out a lot worse. They were very poorly armed, these guys. So, didn't have too much trouble killing them. I freaked out. I thought for a sec they were going to be uh, decked out like those cons and just light me the frick up. That time we did react there with a good roll. Good, good old combat roll. I got to get used to that. Using the roll more often. Um... I feel like the Uzi did literally nothing. We're gonna try it again. And Veronica did fantastic there. She beat the shit out of those guys. There is a building over here. Uh, this is the Repcon headquarters, so... There's gonna be some robots and shit in here. Um, we could try... I guess we could try fighting. Let's test out the plasma pistol on this Mr. Handy. See how much damage. He does. Okay, I can headshot them. That makes this a lot better. We're gonna go check out this place and see how easier hard it will be. Welcome to Rep. I'm here to answer. Excellent. We got a tour. Four. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll marry one of these. The B-29 321G may look like a big fat red rocket. Rocketeers, but oh fatty here ran circles around the earth not so long ago. So let's see you keep up. Sure, B-29 321G's re-entry gave it its more commonly known nickname, the Big Fat Fiery Fred, but here at Repcon, we choose to focus on successes and apply what we learned about explosive-resisted shielding to future models and even our landing platforms. The newly reconstructed Repcon launch facility was, direct benefic was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. That is interesting. I'm just gonna ignore the tour. Oh shit. Got our friend Eddie, or a relative of him. Is this like an O-Gen handy? Rust it out. What the hell is this? Is this a Protectron on wheels? Oh my lord. That's horrifying. Oh, this is a sentry bot. Or like a, maybe early iteration. It's locked. Not on my watch. We have one bobby pin. I actually have to make this count. Oh crap. Oh crap. Got it. Whew. Nice little space model. Probably they aren't going to be too happy about me. Ooh, security card. Nice. Okay, well, we can go ahead and explore the rest of this place now. Don't think it's going to get me here, is it? No. Could get me through here. Oh shit, I didn't even. What? How did I not see all these dead bodies? Wait a minute. Did I. Holy crap, am I blind? Dang, this guy looks cool. He's got a lever action shotgun. I'll, I'll take that Raider guy, gas mask. That's cool. Uh, they've got some Raider armor. I... Ooh, tactical backpack. I might take some of this greater armor. See how that looks. Ooh, looks very cyberpunky. I like it. Um, we are gonna need to change out our armor because it's fully broken. This backpack looks pretty crazy. What the hell? My katana is like clipping through a stick of dynamite or like a bundle of explosives. I kind of like that. We'll uh, we'll chill with that, uh, and we're gonna go use their armor. 
Hopefully, ah, oh, geez, I'm not to censor this part. Training, maybe? No, probably not training. Maybe grueling. Yep, got it. Easy. Disengage lock. Another terminal to activate. Uh, oh yeah, and we are going to be wearing the Wastelander armor, Wasteland Vagrant. This looks epic. Uh, we look straight out of like Mad Max. Mad Max, uh, cyberpunk sci-fi. Uh, we look very badass. We look like these, uh, shoot, I forget their names. That faction of like just insane looking metalheads um, in cyberpunk. If we had like a, uh, what's it called? Some other cybernetic upgrades, uh, it would look very, very cyberpunk. Alright, you did a lot of Come on, there's my ounces. Sorry. Ooh, it's So it's definitely similar to that. We have convinces. We have continued. That's pretty close to convinces. Ooh. No, it's a Shurkan. And I and an E. So E. Convicted? No. Uh, convinced? No, it would be way closer. Uh, converted? Doesn't have I on. It has to be consistent. It has to be. No, it's not. What the hell? I don't know. What? I'm not stupid. I it's not even convicted. Brisket. Okay. Yeah, it's like it has to be convicted. There's just nothing else. Uh, add user facial data database. Nice. So, I don't know. Maybe we could have used our, our card. Valid facial pattern detected. Oh, nice. So, I don't have to fight my way through here. Probably was gonna have to fight my way through here otherwise. Um, I think we can get a decent enchanted weapon. Or not enchanted. I don't know why I called enchanted. Um, a decent energy weapon. And I was playing DD today, so probably why I said that. We're gonna save before we do this. Oops. Plasma pistol. <gasps> what the hell is this? What is this? Oh my god, this is cool. That has insane recoil. Ooh. Wait, this does only 12 damage per shot? That's freaking terrible. What the hell? I mean, this is so cool, I have to take it. Oh, man. That's a lot of my confusion cells. That's a lot of MF cells. Uh, and a plasma rifle. It's probably gonna break. If it's worth six. Oh, yeah, it is on the verge of breaking. It's really Jesus. Uh, we'll take this upgrade. <clears throat> Damn. Tons of ammo. Veronica, what's up? You know what's up. Ooh, I'm gonna be holding on to. Is it a dress? I don't have a dress for you, okay? I do have something cooler, a, a shotgun, an energy shotgun. Maybe you'll like it. It's either pets or it's something with, or it's dens. It's probably dens. It's gotta be dens. Yeah, it's dens. The hesitation of me like using the last password. Oh, wow, that was very easy, but that was actually really important that I uh, didn't get locked out from that. Because otherwise, we are going to trigger the defenses. Hey, buddy. Hello, Mrs. Millet. Hi. Yep, that's me. I'm Mrs. Millet. It's a bottle cap. Yep, the star bottle cap. Okay, we could have looted that too. Come on, man. Why is everything locked? Oh my god. Ooh, two stim packs. Heck yeah. 
Oh, a hard terminal. We can, we can get this. Oh no, I need 75. Oh wow, okay, I do need 100 for that for the other of one. Course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Wow, unbelievable. These are like, holy shit, man. Everything is so locked. Holy cow. What's in here? Another terminal. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and try to open it. Shit. I have one lockpick. I'm just gonna stop there. Got it. Oof. Bubble gum, easy terminal. Damn, alright, well. Yes, we are gonna try to check what's in the terminal. We're doing lots of block picking and lots of uh, hacking in this area. Not a lot of fighting, which is okay. Not, no, I'm not against that. Green. Uh, let's try green. No, it's probably not green. Uh, let's try smashed. So it's gotta be ED. I don't know what the other one is. What is the other shared? It's gotta be E. Um, created? No, wouldn't be created. Chain. Whew, wow, I am so good at hacking. Uh, encrypted messages, Q35. Ooh, that is probably the legendary weapon that's here, or like the unique weapon that's here. Uh, encrypted message. As you get the password, I'll forward it to you. Prototype release notes. Prototype is going to be stopping here. Be with yeah, so this here is a for sure here. Oh, hell no. I can feel this thing breaking. Yeah, this is so scary. Not to my last. Ooh, stim pack. Worth. Hella worth. Just for one stim pack? Worth. Uh, we could try to open that door, I guess. I think if we. I think we have to, yeah. Otherwise, all these terminals are broken. I'll take the ammo. Maybe we can talk to the. No, it's okay, it's just gonna. Oh, wait. Here's a way up. Oops. Top office. Squirrel on a stick. Let's check our health, actually. Are we healthy? We're not healthy. This whole time, I am not healthy at all. Uh, we're gonna need some grilled mantis, and then... Probably some healing powder. Where's healing powder? There it is. Shit, it gives me herbal sickness. Alright. What's on the top floor? Probably trouble, if I had to imagine. Where's my... My thing gone on six. It is. Oh, there we go. I was like, oh, it's not working. Uh, we might actually take out the 10 mil right now, just to be safe. I trust the 10 mil. Like we're good. Oh my god, very hard, are you serious? Oh shit, if you had seven luck, you could do it? Wait, do I have any consumables for luck? I don't think so. Invalid response. That's my response, bitch. Uh, maybe I can use the mercenary submachine gun franchise. An elevator here. Bears blocked off. 
Kind of insane how it's like just a literal wall of garbage. Oh shit! Oh fuck! That is gonna be a sentry bot. Oh fuck me. Combat shotgun time. Maybe plasma grenade time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Get her. Okay, we're good. Woo! I might just use the katana, honestly. The katana is cutting through them. Uh, probably use... Maybe our plasma pistol. There was another one. Actually, it doesn't do that much damage to us. Well, it shoots a lot, though. No, don't kill Veronica. Alright, we're good. Damn, she's tanking those shots. Oh, Dead Brotherhood Paladin. What the heck? He's got some T-45. Uh, it's in decent condition. Let's check. Actually, wow, her armor is in full condition. That's so broken. <laughs> I wonder, it's gotta be a mod that adds this set of armor on that... That NCR, like, random person, because... That seems kind of broken, I don't know. We could hold on to this, but I'll just leave the body here, and we'll try to remember that there is a set. We have the password. Do we? Oh, we do. Nice. Unlocking the safe. Ooh, it's gotta be that one. That is freaking absolutely worthless. You gotta be kidding. Flashlight. Cool. Ooh. Kinetic accelerator implant. Okay, well, this has been worth it for a freaking cybernetic implant that we can't use yet. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Uh, we're gonna do a quick save. Ooh, another better hit Oh god, this is. I apologize for like the blaringly loud alarm. I need to double check, make sure we got everything here. Uh. You know what? We're gonna we'll we'll come back to this later when we have fire science. Our science is just too low right now. Um, yeah, we have no chance. We need a hundred. But I mean, still that was pretty successful. We got ourselves a juicy implant, tons of ammo. Um, actually, yeah, a pretty decent amount of ammo for energy weapons. Uh, not a lot of EC cells, I, or I need electron charge packs for the. Uh, the witch will call it. A lot of flamer fuel. All right, very useful. Uh, that's gonna be it for the episode. For sure, we're a little bit overdue on time. Uh, it is probably gonna be a decent sized episode. I'm gonna be cutting around as much as I can to, you know, kind of show you the main points of progress. But still, it was a pretty long episode, I think. Um, regardless, it's. A lot. It's been a lot of fun with this playthrough so far. Our katana is quite effective at dealing with even some tougher enemies. Um, as you saw there with the sentry bots, we were able to kill them. They were like mini sentry bots, though. They didn't seem that juiced up. Um, so yeah, that was pretty doable. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to be heading on over to Vegas. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content on the channel. Um, as always, there's going to be more Fallout New Vegas content, other sort of video game content. Um, do appreciate the support on the channel. Uh, and that's going to be it. Thank you so much for, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.